talk about food safety at your outdoor parties. Barbecues and outdoor parties are as much a part of the summer as swimming and sunbathing. And just as we take precautions when we're swimming and sunbathing, so should we take precautions when we're grilling and cooking outdoors. A few tips will help keep food poisoning from becoming the unwanted guest at your party. Number one, clean your hands often and thoroughly. You want to also make sure that you clean any surface that may have been touched by uncooked meat or chicken. This includes the faucet, the door to the outside, the handle on the grill. Ideally, you want to make sure you have two separate cutting boards. One should be for uncooked and one should be for cooked meat. If you have to use the same cutting board, make sure you're cleaning it thoroughly. A, a, deliquid, a diluted bleach solution will work perfectly. It is best to keep all uncooked and cooked meat separately at all times. You also want to make sure you clean your fruits and vegetables thoroughly. This includes fruits that have an outside skin that you may not eat. For example, watermelon or cantaloupe. If there is bacteria on that skin and you cut through the skin into the fruit, you're transferring the bacteria into that fruit. So make sure you wash the outsides of those as well. Next, it's very important to make sure you cook all of your meats to the proper internal temperature. This will usually require using a thermometer. Hamburgers should be cooked to 160 degrees. Hot dogs and chicken should be cooked to 165 degrees. To find internal temperatures for other foods, you could go to homefoodsafety.org and check what other internal temperature you need to cook pork, etc. to. It's also incredibly important to make sure you keep your food out of the danger zone. And we de define the danger zone as any temperature above 40 degrees and below 140 degrees. That means you want to keep your cold foods below 40 and your hot foods above 140. You have a, maybe a three to four hour window that foods can exist in the danger zone until before bacteria starts to grow. So make sure that if foods are sitting out in the sun at a barbecue or a cookout that you have ice around them or that you're only putting out small portions and rotating it so that things are not sitting out in the heat for extended periods of time. That is the easiest and best way to prevent food poisoning from becoming your unwanted guest. 